Greetings and blessings to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for taking the time to join me again on my channel MSP Ministry Motivating Spiritual Beliefs. First of all, I would like to apologize for not uploading my main videos for the last 9 months. Unfortunately, I've been extremely busy due to other commitments in life, but with God's grace, I was able to successfully complete my A to Z prayer series which I always wanted to upload on my YouTube channel. I'm very blessed to receive your continuous support on my recent short videos. I've been thinking about the topics that I would like to share with you all in this video and God really spoke to me and I decided to focus on three main aspects which are very close to me. This is because when I have gone through extreme hard times and challenging situations, I connected with God in a very deep and intimate relationship through constant prayers day and night. This is when I created this quote which also expresses my views about God and how He intervenes which I will discuss in more details later in this video. God is not ignorant of what we are facing in life, which we often misunderstand as mentioned in one of my previous video, Why is God silent? As humans, we repeatedly judge too quickly about God without knowing His plans for us, which are far greater than ours. God is all-knowing and has the power to understand the finer details of our lives. God knows everything about us even when we try to hide. This can be confirmed in Psalm 139 verses 1-4. to You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from far afar. You descend my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. This is one of my most favorite Bible scripture. This is because I overshare everything with God. There is nothing that is hidden from Him about me. In fact, I feel more relieved and experience an unexplainable peace when I talk to God about my life, and especially my thoughts. But some people tend to keep their secrets hidden, be showing and deceiving themselves that God will never find out. Individuals make assumptions that we cannot see God, so how would you know anything about them? Unfortunately, this myth is continued even today. For humans, it is easy to convince themselves with the concept of that God does not exist, and if He does, it's just an air. So they carry on living as they wish. The first point we are concentrating on in this video is that God sees your tears. When we are facing uncertainty in life and cry out to God, He does see your tears. As we read this in 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 5, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. God said those words to King Hiskia so he could say to each of his children, this is God's promise and love for His children. It is extremely important to realize that God is not absent in our difficult times, but in fact, He walks along with us without us noticing. I can confidently say that when I had faced constantly bad news and felt that God was not with me and only cried, very soon after, I realized that the hardship was a path for me to grow stronger in my faith and also as a person with a positive mindset. But I also began to understand that I had to continue trusting God and His plans for my life. I cannot emphasize enough that now I am a completely different person. God has really transformed me and my life. Lots of people around me feel the positivity I have about life and this is because of God's mercy. 
all that I have faced recently helped me to cope with difficult situations. I have become such a strong person that when I encounter something bad, I always have God beside me and feel His presence who keeps me going. I instantly pray about the situation and take everything to God who is in control. I know my tears were no hidden at all and would have hurt God too, as I am his child. If our earthly parents get sad seeing us cry, then imagine how much our God feels bad when he sees us in tears, as we are wonderfully created in his own image. I can definitely guarantee from my own personal experience that God is not oblivious, but instead prepares us for a better future hence the cause of delay in our answered prayers. But we must not start to blame God for everything that we go through. It is not pleasant for God either to see us in that state, as He wants to see us happy, and we must always remember this. The second point we are concentrating on in this video is that God hates your cry. I am not proposing and saying that God purposely turns away from us when we cry to Him. I know for sure that when we are waiting patiently, God does hear our cry, as it says in Psalm chapter 40 verse 1, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He will surely hear our cry, but in His perfect timing. This is because God can see far beyond than we can. As humans, we often take hasty decisions and make mistakes. This leads to mental breakdown, trying to rectify our wrongdoings, and we become more impatient and start to divert away from God, who carried us all the way through from our first cry. When we are going through hard times, we forget how faithful and loving our God is towards us. I can only suggest that we often make the judgment based on what we are experiencing at that moment. Just because we are not getting the good news of what we have prayed for, we begin to curse God for being uncaring and unloving towards us. I too experienced that in my life, but I was so wrong, and hence asked God for forgiveness for not understanding God's unconditional love for me, which is incomparable. I know no one can love me the way God does. If I make a mistake, He is willing to forgive me, and sometimes it's harder to seek forgiveness from our earthly parents. But my Heavenly Father is very merciful. And as I've learned this through my journey, I wanted to share this with you all. Never stop believing or trusting God's plan, for He wants the best for us. Only if we can attempt to keep our faith strong and let God lead us, it will definitely help us to cope better. The third point we are concentrating on in this video is that God feels your pain. It is so easy to say that God does not care about how we feel, but of course we all matter to Him, far more than we can imagine. When we feel hurt, God is first to know about the pain even if we choose not to share anything. As it says in Psalm chapter 56 verse 8, You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. God keeps note of everything we go through in our life. It is impossible for God not to notice anything as He is fully aware of what happens. He has written our destiny and therefore knows every second about our life. We must not forget that God will never leave or forsake us, as God promised in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I have also learned to depend on God when I am in pain because I remember this promise that God has made to His people. 
He is faithful to the promises he makes and remains true to his words. This is a fact because I have personally experienced that in my life. Hence, I'm suggesting that you should also experience the peace I have. I would like to share an incident from my own life which will help you believe that we should not be afraid. Sometimes even when we think God is not with us, but he is always there protecting us. Recently I have started driving on a very busy motorway. And of course it is even scarier driving in bad weather conditions at the speed of 70 miles per hour. I am concentrating on my navigation but also need to focus on my driving and being aware of other cars driving in two lanes. I cannot explain how I drove on the motorway with heavy rain where I could not barely see anything. I was guest driving but only because I knew God got me. I was not afraid at all because God was with me and I got home safely. Many times in my life God has saved me when I was seconds away from a road traffic accident. This is the main reason I'm sharing this with you because God has been good to me and taken care of me which is inexplainable. My God has seen my tears. My God has heard my cry and my God has felt my pain. God's love is very special and I also wish you to experience the same love, peace and positivity that I live with every day. I'm only able to motivate others around me and continue serving God through this YouTube channel and my digital missionary because I have not stopped trusting God even when it seemed impossible to continue uploading my videos. In true honesty, I place everything in God's hands that happens in my life because He is the real writer. I hope and pray that through my videos I am able to change lives more positively so you are able to cope with life's traumas more confidently. I want to save souls, so come out of the darkness and step into the light. Thank you for watching this video. Please remain connected with me and the MSB ministry, Motivating Spiritual Beliefs. For my next upload, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss the next motivating video. Please also like, comment and share this video with family and friends and I look forward to joining you again. Any queries, please feel free to email me on msbministry22 at gmail.com so I can pray for you. The email will be in the description. God bless you more and more abundantly. Amen.